Hey guys, it's me, Vixel123, with some fighter jet gameplay on Grand Theft Auto 5. And actually, what I wanted to show you guys specifically in this video is the easiest way to get one of these for yourself because it's not an easy thing to do. It's quite difficult, and I had to spend quite a while devising a little strategy to get these for myself, and I wanted to share that with you guys in this video. So the first thing you're going to need to know is the location of the fighter jets and they are actually in the military base right up here, Fort Zancudo which is just north of Tonga Hills. If you've not unlocked that area you can actually find it by just going around and hitting A and looking at the road paths to that area and you should be able to spot this little road sticking off from the main road. That is where you're going to need to go to get your fighter jets. So once you're at the airstrip, this is what you need to do. You need to head straight in. If there are tanks nearby, make sure you're behind them. Their turrets really get messed up when you're behind them. As you see, they're quite slow to turn. And you can pretty much drive past these things. If they are directly behind you, make sure to swerve left and right. If they do shoot the uh, shells, then they're most likely to miss. You want to roll straight up to here after taking the first left. You can actually hop out of your car instantly if you leave the right amount of room, which saves you some time. Then hop straight into this plane. Even though it's not got a straight line to the runway, I found it was the best one to uh, give you a decent amount of time to take off within and then you can need to head straight out and then go right and left onto this runway here keep as much speed as you can and the key thing here is to stay as low as you can you know a lot of people pull up straight away try and you know um, out, outrun the missiles by pulling up by going left and right but actually what I found the best way was keeping really low and uh, just sticking to the ground, you know, pulling left and right a little bit, but no huge amount. And uh, that route there, I found to have the highest success rate for actually getting a jet out of the base without getting hit by one of the missiles in the anti-air system, which happens significantly. Once you're at this kind of distance from the base, you're pretty much fine to carry on flying. I did think I'd uh, removed my uh, landing gear, but I hadn't. You want to remove your landing gear. And uh, what it took me a little while to realize is that actually you don't want to follow roads along. You want to go um, horizontally, you need to cr cut across roads, um, you know, perpendicular to the road and not head down them because if you head down them, there'll be vehicles, uh, police vehicles on the roads. I mean, you know, you have to be unseen by the cops, as you can see now, they're searching for you. And you also need to be away from them. You can't be near any cops to uh, lose the stars. So uh, what I end up doing is I head way out um, into the mountains and you'll see me doing that in a moment. But... That is the method I've been using and have found the most successful for picking up the uh, fighter jets for myself. If you do manage to uh, take a missile hit on the uh, on the way out, it's not the end of the world. You will take damage. But what I found is that uh, you know you might lose your ability to uh, you know use the rudder kind of things to go left and right. Um, on the left button and right button, but what you are able to do is if you can, um, so long as your landing gear isn't destroyed, you can land at an airstrip you own, um, rock the jet into the uh, hangar there, and it will be repaired just like a car garage works. So that's another way if you can't seem to get out untouched, which um, with this method, you kind of have a one in two, one in three um, chance of getting a jet out of the base, you know. Occasionally you will get killed on the way in just because it's random the uh, placement of the AI in the base And occasionally you will get hit by a rocket or chased down by another fighter jet on the way out But as you see here, I decided to get completely away from the roads follow down this side of the mountain and sure enough in just a moment you're gonna see that uh I'm going to be losing my stars very shortly, so just away from roads is definitely the way to go. And there we go. We've lost our stars. This is our fighter jet. The uh, cops aren't going to bother us. The army aren't going to bother us unless we fly over Fort Zancuda again. So there we go. That is it. That is how you can get away from the cops with a jet for yourselves. And what I'm going to do right here is actually show you the whole thing one more time. This is a different recording. This is in a different attempt, but it just shows again the idea. Now, for some reason, there's no audio on this one, but that's fine because... We're looking at the visual rather than the audio. As you can see, you can pretty much slip straight past these tanks. You really don't need to pay too much attention to them. And it's just the first left right here. You're going to pull into this place here. You can pretty much crash. It's the fastest way. Even if your door's in the way, you can just climb over it. It's like, it's no big deal. It's not too, not too, uh, not too much of a problem. And actually, this run was actually a little smoother. Um, you know, the first run I showed you was earlier on. This is one I literally just recorded a second ago. So here we go. P996 laser planes. And uh, as you can see, pretty much just go straight along this way. Keep it as low as you can for as long as you can. Then when you get to these buildings, you're just going to lift up a little bit. 
drop the uh, landing gear and then even just duck behind that building. I think that does actually protect you quite a lot. Then you can swing the other way. Um, you know, when you're in full swing, you're pretty much fine. Um, and then that's you know, all there is to it. So there we go, I'm flying away. So to recap, drive behind tanks, go to this fighter jet, the one I have shown you the location of. Stay low, bank left and right, and you should be out of there with a fighter jet for yourself. So there we go, that is the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like rating. Feel free to subscribe for more GTA 5 content. Let me know what you thought. And check out some more GTA 5 videos. We've got a funnies and fails compilation that went up on this channel the day before yesterday. We've also got the first episode of my playthrough Let's Play Story Mode series on my brand new channel, Vicstar Plays. Feel free to check out the first episode of that. Subscribe to that channel if you'd be interested in watching that. I'll also be posting some other GTS stuff there. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys soon.